that one, that's got me fizzing in my pants, is that? I'm not going <laughs> to lie. I do like the look I'm of that. I'm sitting next to him while he's fizzing <laughs> in his pants. <laughs> Gentlemen, hello and welcome along once again to another review from us. This time it is all about John Deere's most powerful four cylinder short wheel base tractors. And in actual fact, as you may be able to tell, we've got two of them. So the one we're sat in is the 6120M, uh, which as you can see, it's got the sloping bonnet of, on it. And that is the most powerful tractor in the short wheel base uh, M series. Yep. And then the one just behind us there, the one that looks a bit of a beast because we've taken the loader off and the fat boots really set it off. That one is the new 6R150 model. So that's the new additional model along with the 140 yes. to the short wheelbase series of the 6R series. So you may remember it quite a bit ago, well, depending on when you're watching it, myself and Simon here, we tried out its bigger brother, the, uh, the medium wheelbase which was the 6R185 right. so following along in the same vein as that John Deere has added well basically more power to the short wheelbase so there's that new 150 and there's a new 140 so what we're going to do boys and girls we're going to try them both out we've got a few jobs lined up uh, like I say we're going to start with this one the uh, the little uh, 6120M with a little bit of loader work and then seeing as that's on the trailer that can crack on and do some trailer work and then we'll swap around We'll play about a bit. We've got all, so, all sorts for you coming up. Also, massive shout out as well to Charlie's Ground Kurt for helping us out with this review, sorting us out with uh, these two John Deere tractors. Also as well, if you've not seen, we've done a quick little walk round of these two tractors. We did that with Will Downey from John Deere. Basically got us all genned up about these tractors, told us all about the latest developments to, to these two particular machines, which is good. So. We're not going to bore you with all the specs, all the history, that kind of thing. We're just going to crack on now and see what these tractors are like and hopefully give you guys a little bit of a flavour. And as ever, if you are watching this on one of our social media channels, as I've said many times before by now, hopefully you're getting the hint. It will probably run out for you, this video, if you're watching it on one of our social media channels. So anyway, fear not, go and watch the full video review on that there, LandPowerTV.com. We got the full review, no interruptions, no ads, and we got a few specs for you on there as well. Right, Simon, shall we crack on with yes, this little right. review? Let's do a bit, come on. Let's chatting. do a bit, because it's going to go dark pretty soon. Because we are, well, we're in Welsh pool today, so good to be uh, in Wales. Sun's out for now, but as you can see, it is raining on and off. So we'll kick off with this 6120M with a little bit of loader work. So let's negotiate these buildings for a start. So, and one thing about this tractor is what, which is brilliant, is that, that of course it's John Deere's sloping bonnet model, and it makes such a difference because you can see right down at floor level. Oh, it does. You? Oh, it's fantastic. So I've got my shuttle set up on this, which is good, so you don't necessarily have to be a lefty handy. Depend on your preference, because that's my preference, and I know you, Simon, you'll have a completely different preference to me. Oh, it may do, you don't know. It may do. It is nice that they've integrated the shuttle into a simple button. It there. is nice. It's in there, and these two top buttons here, I've also assigned on number five my upshifts, right, right. so just like that. And I've also assigned my downshifts as well. So pretty much transmission wise, I've got everything on there and obviously I've got all my loader control on there. So this right hand is never going to come off here unless I really wanted to change range or something like that. And my left hand is never going to come off the steering wheel because I'm doing the shuttling action on there. And in terms of, well, I've just done a little shuttle then. So in terms of that setup, you can go through the corner post display yep. and completely configure the transmission to how you like or match it to the job at hand and as you can see i'm just getting used to this tractor because i've literally just jumped on it but yeah as you can see another shuttle there and i've got it on a sort of a mid setting you can't really dial it up and go full-on neck braking 
as I found out before when I jumped on it. You've and now another thing with this tractor, you've got a foot brake disconnect on the transmission. I have, yes. Yeah, yeah. So I'll show you that in a little minute. But as you can see, we can just rattle up through the box. The transmission that we have on this, uh, speaking of transmission, is the command quad, which is effectively, I mean, underneath, if you peel all the skin back and all the metal bits back, it is pretty much the same transmission as the auto quad and the power quad. It's the same number of cogs and gears and everything in there, but it's effectively, it's robotized range changes. Okay. So which is why we've got no stick. That's what I would it's do. just doing itself. So we've got A range, B range, C, D, and then B to F if you want to rattle through the whole box and you can knock it into auto. Little scroll wheel, as we found with the big ones, you can set your upper limit as well. It's good, it's, 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 a, it's a good idea. It's taking what people like to be in that good old reliable John Deere transmission in taking it another step further, isn't it? Well, that's Where it. You, it's it really, it, easy it to definitely use. works, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, because underneath, you know, your eye case, you've got electronic controls on it, but you've still got the robust bulletproof gearbox that we all know and love that's been around forever underneath. So, you know, th there's a lot to be said and for that. Uh, and, it, and it's very smooth shifting. It's, it's, it's a good shift, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. what? That's a downshift. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just instant. slightly, yeah, it, yeah. but it's quick and it's smooth. It's yeah. not like it's quick and neck braking. So, if we just give the dab of the brakes, that's it. That's I'm it. Not, I don't have to press me clutch pedal. Don't do anything. Now, your um, have you? Is that progressive? That on on this, have you got it set? It is. I've actually thing? got it set quite aggressive. So as soon as you dab the brakes, it's pretty much a stop. But saying that, it's actually quite controllable. Yeah, I mean the the buildings here, they are they are pretty generous. Got to be said. But the tractor is doing, well, it is showing off the fact that it is compact. Well, not compact in the truest sense, but it's all relative. But it, you know, it's that short wheel base really comes into its own, getting in and out of these buildings and whatnot. Like you said, visibility wise, you can see what they were doing with this tractor, can't you? It's like they were trying to make like the ultimate loader tractor almost, weren't well, they? That's kind of what they were going for. Uh, they have really, I mean, in terms of its, it's, it's manoeuvrability, it's ever such a tight turning circle, you've got all the features that you need, whether you've got the loader on the front or not. I mean, that's the good bit about it. It's showing versatility in tractor design, but you know, you're never gonna get the output with a loader on a tractor like this that you will out of a telehandler, but it's a really good compromise because loaders have come such a long way, aren't they? Well, they that's recently? it. And these two loaders, as I found out in the walk round that I did with Will, I mean, you can spec these loaders up to the hilt. I mean, this is both of the loaders are R series loaders, so they are the high spec loaders. Uh, but the one on that 6R150, that has pretty much got every single toy you could possibly have on it. I mean, it's got the return to position features, it's got this horizon level feature which we'll probably talk about when we drive it uh it's got lights it's got hydraulic locking pins at the front it's got yes yeah, it's, 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 it's full where this one's a little bit more paired back which probably suits this tractor a little bit uh, more. yeah more budget minded and, and obviously that is something to consider here by the way i mean yes you know the m series has always represented the more budget conscious mm. approach to john deere tractor purchasing um, not by, the, by any means this is a Spartan rig, because it's not. Oh, Christ, no. It's, it's, it's a nicely spec tractor, um, but you know, but we're throwing our way through these